Football Pandemonium with Max is brought to you by Ibex, Mike Spence Center, and Kronzberg Electric. Welcome to week 16 of Football Pandemonium, the final week of the regular season. I, I can't believe we're already here. I mean, I guess time really does fly when you're having fun. And speaking of fun, that would be an understatement to describe our matchup from last Friday. A couple of true super fans, one for the Oregon Ducks and one for the Boise State Broncos. Your winner from week 15 is... Jason Hicks with 58% of the votes. Now listen, Charles Nelson was great. He's that Ducks fan you see right there, but I mean, it's just tough to beat a guy whose bedroom is absolutely covered. You can't see an inch in his room that isn't covered with some Boise State Broncos gear. Absolutely incredible. So congrats, Jason. You've now earned $49 in gift cards to local retailers, and you're also the 15th addition to our 16-person bracket. Just one more spot to go. Playoffs start next Friday on New Year's Day, and the championship round begins a few weeks later. Everyone in this bracket now has a shot at the grand prize, which is a tailgate party package from Ibex. And for our final Fandemonium episode of the regular season, it's only fitting we go back to our most popular matchup of the show. For the fourth time, I present to you Oregon Ducks squaring off against the Seattle Seahawks. When you think football, one of the last things that probably comes to mind nice and secure. are balloons. I'm just doing a couple twists here. But maybe that'll change after you see what this woman in Lapine can do. Got my safety scissors. This is Roxanne Cordell, but sometimes she prefers to go by her clown name. Commonly known as Sparkles. So that's what we'll call her. Sparkles says she's been a clown since she was 14. <laughs> she's not a good hider. Sparkles wasn't exactly the biggest football fan growing up. Up. In fact, she wasn't a football fan at all. That is, until she met her sidekick, Steve, and together they loved the Seahawks. Not only because I love their team and the people on it, but that was the first game that I watched with Steve in full length, and he was teaching me the rules. And now... I'm going for Seahawk colors, so we'll pull the lime green. She's added football players to her portfolio. I love these footballs. But Sparkle says that's no easy task. You would probably need about uh, four, maybe, maybe four or five years experience before you attempt a football player. Now in year 12 of balloon twisting, making football themed designs is second nature. And there you have it, your football with the goalpost. Sparkles balloons are bound to blow you away, but these two young ducklings are going to kill you with cuteness. The world's youngest cheerleaders sure know how to get down in duck town. Here Central Oregon, I'll make it simple for you. The clown or the kids? And, and now I don't want to play favorites, but I do want to give a special shout out to Roxanne or Sparkles as we're calling her because she was amazing yesterday. And when I showed people here back at the station, the balloons that you made, it brought a smile to everyone's faces. We all appreciated it. So I just wanted to let you know uh, that was a great way to end 2020. And now you've seen the matchup, so you get to just Get to decide who you think is this week's winner. You can vote right now on KTVZ.com. You'll find a poll on the right-hand side of the page under the Sports tab. And so, that is the last regular season episode that you see here and that you get to vote on here for Fandemonium. After that, we'll have a bracket set up on our website, KTVZ.com. And then during the first four weeks of January, you'll be able to pick the winner of each matchup, March Madness style, until we announce the Fandemonium champion on January 29th. And I can't think of a better way to start the new year. I'll see you next week for round one of the Fandemonium playoffs. Max out.